Um, uh, hi, Bert. Hi. <laughs> um, let's see. So today, today I was thinking of talking about love, and uh, I know you mention it all the time. Um, but it, it occurs to me sometimes it must be difficult for people to love, you know, if they're bitter, if they've been hurt, if they, uh, if they are, are just so angry at themselves, especially. Um, how, how, like step by step, you know, how, how, how do you learn to love or how do you? Yeah, that, no, that, that's a very good question, Brian. Uh, first of all, love is what it's all about. Mm -hmm. um, when people are complaining all the time about depression, sadness, fear of the future, or whatever it is, mm -hmm. um, one question that I ask my clients is, when you feel fear, what are you seeking? And then they say, seeking? I'm not seeking anything, I'm just feeling fear. Mm -hmm. I'll say, okay, now give me an example what you're afraid of. And one person would say, well, I'm afraid of the future. I don't know what's going to happen mm -hmm. to me. Okay. Okay, now you're afraid of the future. What are you seeking in the future to be? Because you're afraid of the future. Therefore, you want to feel secure. You want to feel okay in the future, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, if you want to feel okay, there's a part of you that is seeking to be okay in the future. Yeah. See? You want to be all right. See, one, one thing, and, and we'll go into love uh, in a little more detail. Love is all that there is. It's all that there is. As a matter of fact, <coughs> if people were to say love instead of God, I think we'd hit it more. The only thing about it is that people think of love as an emotion mm -hmm. and God as an entity. Mm, and so they're separate. So that they're separate, but mm -hmm. the two are really the same thing. But love, in its uh, essential nature, is the isness and intelligence of the universe itself. Okay, like I've, I've said many times before, like for example, we're sitting still here and we feel very comfortable, yeah. but the universe is hurtling through space at an incredible speed, over 20 miles per second. Mm -hmm. Okay? What makes us feel secure and comfortable on this earth is the gravitational pull that keeps it in balance. Mm -hmm. What is that? Intelligence, right? Mm -hmm. Who created it? We don't know. Mm -hmm. Some force created it. Ah, love. Because that, that love is creating a unified field where everything is one and it's keeping that one in balance all the time, in perfect balance. So that's what love is. Now, so when people... Um, say they're unhappy, they, they get up uh, very uh, in a bad mood, um, their depression. What is actually missing at that moment is love of themselves. Now you might say, well, how does it become love of yourself? Okay, so let's go into it a little bit, into okay. more detail, okay, what love is, because this is such an important one, and thank you, Brian, for mm -hmm. coming up with it. Um, and I had a, a young kid one time, no, no, not too young, but 21, and uh, he was always depressed, always in a bad mood, bad attitude, and uh, he's been, you know, uh, in trouble most of the time. <clears throat> and um, he was suggested to come and see me. This was a few mm -hmm. years ago, but this is a perfect example. Okay. And I said, um, and I said to myself, well, this, this guy really doesn't like himself. So I wanted to probe what it is that he does that makes him hate himself. So we were discussing some of the things that he does. He said when he goes to a store, he likes to pilfer things, you know, mm. like put in his mm -hmm. pocket, steal things. Mm -hmm. And so when he told me this, I said to him, how do you feel? He says, well, man, I feel good because I got something for nothing. Yeah. I said, now, let's really look at it. You feel good for when you steal something because you thought you gained something. But how do you feel about yourself, really? And then he thought about it, and he's reasonably intelligent, and he said, well, really, I don't feel too good mm -hmm. about myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel as if I've done something wrong I shouldn't. As a matter of fact, I'm always looking out for store detectives or somebody is looking. You see? And I said, when you've got that <coughs> looking over your shoulder look, what is that? See? No trust of yourself. Fear. Fear of getting caught. Fear of doing the wrong thing. Yeah. 
you see? So that's lack of love of self. Now, uh, let, let's look at it another way. How do you gain love of yourself? You gain love of yourself by loving. Now, how do you do that? One time I, um, I had a workshop and I asked people, I said, make out a list of 10 people who are in need that you could help them. Okay. So, some, some people made a list of the people that they could think of, that mm -hmm. they could help. Okay. Uh, maybe a, a neighbor is very old and, um, well, he doesn't have enough funds. Or maybe a woman needs, uh, you know, she cannot walk to go get the shopping done or whatever. And I said, but the main thing is to do a service to people in need, incognito. Right, without with, wanting that with, recognition. Without wanting recognition, even if you can do it without letting them know right, that you've done it. And when you do that, the result is you feel good about yourself. Why is that? Be uh, very good. Why do you feel good when you do something good to somebody else? I do, but I don't know why. Yeah. yeah I, um, feel it out. Because this is where we get love, what, what it means to love. Okay, so say I went to Japan, right? And I met this little boy there, you know, 10 years old. Uh -huh. uh, this was last year. And um, he, he didn't have a father, and he was sort of lonely, and his mother was running a small restaurant, didn't have much time for him. Uh, and I was, I was lucky enough to be on vacation, and I, I took him out on a day trip to, a, to an island off, off uh, southern Japan. And he was so happy, you know. I wasn't doing this for him, but it was something that I think if I weren't there, he, he, he wouldn't have had such a good time yeah, in a way. Yeah. Um, on boats and everything, and after I felt really good. I, I felt um, that why, I, why I, did you I, feel good? That I had done something. You know that he said he wrote me letters. I felt that I created something. That that if I hadn't been there, he wouldn't he wouldn't be as happy today. I just I, that's why I felt good. I still don't. I can't put my finger on it. You see, the more happy you make somebody else, yeah. the more happy you become. Now, are we understanding what love is? Love is the unified field. Mm -hmm. It is all that there is. So if I do something to you yeah. that makes you happy, automatically I feel happy because I've done it to myself indirectly, incognito. Because we're connected. Exactly, because whatever you do to another, you do to yourself. Hmm. You see, um, I was walking along Fourth one time and I saw the man who uh, gives tickets for uh, overdue... Uh, uh, parking tickets. Yeah, right? I know, all over the place. Okay, so, <laughs> so um, as I was walking by, I saw a car that that had um, that was overrun. You know, like it. Oh, and you put the dime. And I put the I, I put some money yeah. there. You know, so that whoever that person is won't have to pay fifty dollars for overdue parking. He'd be really happy. You see. Yeah. And uh, when I walked away, I felt good. <laughs> okay. Now that feeling goodness is how we start loving ourselves. So you love because love is such a... You see, some people said to me, I, I said to them, you don't love yourself. And they said, well, if I love myself, isn't that selfish? I said, it's the other way around. I said, because loving yourself simply means loving others automatically. For example, um, so let's go back to this one. I felt good when I did that because I was getting back to, to that point is that I made someone not having to pay that fine. Yeah. So and even though they don't know it and who put the money there, yet I felt good about it. But but by feeling good when I tune in and because of a realization I've had that we are a unified field who that person is a part of myself. When you help that boy, okay. you see, you helped yourself. You cannot make another happy without making yourself happy. It's not possible. In fact, if an unhappy person would just get out of their self-pity just for a moment and would do something for somebody, they would stop. Really? Being, yes, they would stop being unhappy at that moment. Right. B because, you see, this is how we begin to understand love. Love is, is not loving something. It's not an action, it's a being. So when we call you are a human being, the being is itself love. But the being is not something, 
Mm-hmm. It is being. Mm-hmm. 